I want to speak about something that may or may not make any sense to you. Depending on the culture you live in, some people may make you believe that you need your own car. You need your own house. Like you need your own this and that. But I believe if you go to other parts of the world, I believe sometimes you will see the mother, the father, the daughter, their grandmother, maybe some cousins. Like, I believe many people stay in one house. Are you listening to what I am saying? Depending on the case, you may see above six or more people in one house. Maybe 10 or more. And you may say to me, Uncle Kev, I understand what you are saying, but I need my own space. I don't want to be inconvenienced by living with other people. Okay, I understand what you are saying, but at the same time, you may be praying to God. You may be complaining that you don't have enough money. Let's say you are living with five or four or five other people who have jobs. Like with rent, divide that by five. With food, divide that by five. With much of the bills, divide that by five. If you are sharing pretty much all the bills with four, five or six other people, imagine how much money you will have left. Think about that. Yes, it may be very inconvenient to live with other people. Yes there may be problems. But why slave away working and working and working then when you get paid you have to pay like your paycheck is pretty much gone at the end of the month. Like you don't have anything to save. In some cases, you may not have enough money to pay the rest of your bills. So in essence, you are living to work or you are working, but not really having enough money to get everything done. Are you hearing what I am saying to you? You may see a nice car, or you may see many people buying these 20,000, 30,000, $50,000 cars. And you may want to, I guess, fit in. Like, you want to be like them in a sense. So, you may buy, or should I say, borrow money and buy a very expensive car that you can't really afford. Why would you do that? Why not buy a used car for $3,000, $5,000? maybe $10,000. Why place yourself in great debt because you want people to see you a certain way. You want people to, I guess, not exclude you from the expensive car group. So you are suffering yourself 
for image. That makes no sense. I believe many people with these new cars, I truly believe that they are not entirely paid off. I believe with much of those new cars, many people that you are trying to impress, honestly, I think much of them don't really care about you. Like, they probably don't even think much of you. But, but because you want to fit in so badly, because you want people to think highly of you, you are willing to place yourself in debt or you willing or you are willing to do things that is going to hurt you financially. If people choose to not like you because of the amount of money you make, so be it. Who really cares? Choose to be around people who like you. Choose to be around people who accept you for who you are. If you don't want to waste money on designer's clothes, and if people are willing to reject you because of the clothes you wear, so be it. Stay away from them. You don't have to speak to them. Are you listening to what I am saying? In a sense, stop running your life for other people. Of course, if you are doing wrong, yes, you need to change. But if you aren't doing wrong, then do what you like in that sense. Who cares if people don't like you? Who cares if people aren't accepting of you? I believe if you look hard enough, you may find some people who are similar to you. Listen now. Love yourself. Accept yourself. Do things that makes you happy. If you are a nerd, continue doing your nerdy activities. I guess I am a nerd too. <laughs> Anyways, let me stop here. May God bless us.